Today I'm going to show you what you'll experience on a tour of the Colosseum, Palatine Hill, and the Roman Forum. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be informed about future videos. We'll start outside of the Colosseum, which is an oval amphitheater in the center of the city of Rome, just east of the Roman Forum. It is the largest ancient amphitheater ever built and is still the largest standing amphitheater in the world today. With skip the line access, you'll get to walk right in. It could hold an estimated 50 to 80,000 spectators at various points in its history. Having an average audience of 65,000, it was used for gladiatorial contests and public spectacles including animal hunts, executions, reenactments of famous battles, dramas based on Roman mythology, and briefly, mock sea battles. You can see in the upper part of this photo that they have rebuilt part of the floor with a working trap as soldiers, tigers, or even bears can come out of to attack the participants. In 2023, the entire floor is going to be completed thanks to a private investor. After leaving the Colosseum, on our way to Palatine Hill, we stopped to see the Arch of Constantine, dedicated in 315 AD. It is the largest Roman triumphal arch in Rome. The Palatine Hill, which relative to the seven hills of Rome is the centermost, is one of the most ancient parts of the city and has been called the first nucleus of the Roman Empire. Imperial palaces were built here, starting with Augustus. Before imperial times, the hill was mostly occupied by the houses of the rich. The site is now largely a large open-air museum. The Palatine Museum houses many finds from the excavations in Rome and from other ancient Italian sites. Next we walk down towards the Roman Forms, the heart of the Roman Empire. On the way we stopped at another triumphal piece, the Ark of Titus. While being the smallest triumphal arc in Rome, it is also the oldest. The Roman Forum, also known by its Latin name Forum Romanum, is a rectangular forum or plaza surrounded by the ruins of several important ancient government buildings at the center of the city of Rome. Citizens of the ancient city referred to this space, originally a marketplace, as a Forum Magnum, or simply the Forum. For centuries, the Forum was the center of day-to-day -day life in Rome, the site of triumphal processions and elections, the venue for public speeches, criminal trials, and gladiatorial matches, and the nucleus of commercial affairs. Here, statues and monuments commemorate the city's great men the teeming heart of ancient Rome and has been called the most celebrated meeting place in the world and all of history. Many of the oldest and most important structures of the ancient city were located on or near the Forum. The Roman Kingdom's earliest shrines and temples were located on the southeastern edge. These include the ancient former royal residence, the Regia, and the Temple of Vesta, as well as the surrounding complex of the Vestal Virgins, all of which were rebuilt at the rise of Imperial Rome. No trip to Rome be complete without visiting the Colosseum. I will definitely go back again to see it now that they're going to be rebuilding the floor. So thank you for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe.